Hey everyone, this is Shara of Yellow Yum and I just got back from my Subic trip so please excuse the tired looking face. Um, I just wanted to do this video first before I go to bed so let's just get right to it. Um, so I went to a booth in Eastwood, it's by Perfection and um, I got a couple of products from that booth. Um, I think I went there um, two weeks ago or a week ago so I got a couple of things um, the first one is the NYX HD Studio Photogenic Primer and this is basically a primer or a makeup base and I got the HDP01 I'm not quite sure if they have different shades for this but this is the white one um, but I'm not really scared that it might not suit anyone's um, face because I know that when it gets absorbed by the face, it will just um, match your skin tone. So this is good for all skin types, whether you be combination oily or dry. And it has um, light diffusing effect, um, which is perfect for to give you good coverage. And um, it also softens wrinkles and fine lines. So there, here it has a little pump right here, but um, I have read a couple of reviews that this is a good primer, so just wanted to try it out. It's HD and it's by NYX, so I think it's a good product. And I got another round lipstick. This is because I saw a couple of pictures of my friend Janica and um, I just love the shade of lipstick that she was wearing. It's the Frappuccino shade. Um, it's a round lipstick um, of NYX. And it looks like this. And again, it's a nude lipstick. Um, when I first saw it, um, I thought that it was similar to my Tea Rose. That's why I did not get it. But Apparently it's not. So this one is a more on the brown shade compared to the Tea Rose which has a hint of pink. So um, when I tried this, I tried um, using this when I went to Subic and when I tried it, um, it did not wash me out. Uh, that's one of the things that I'm scared of when I try out different nude lipsticks because I'm not as... I guess colored I don't have that much color in my face when I don't put blush or I don't put makeup so I was scared that if I use um, a nude lipstick it will just wash me out and make me look sick but this one has a good um, color and it's got good color payoff as well so I liked it I will be posting more um, photos and swatches next time and then I decided to get um, some soft matte lip creams. I got two. The first one is in Antwerp and I just love the, this shade. I hope it focuses but that's how it looks like. Um, if I have to describe it, it looks like your lips but better. So if you're looking for that My Lips But Better lip color, this is it. Definitely. It's um, a staple now that I have it. It's been um, inside my makeup bag um, and I usually use it. I love the scent of it. it I don't know. Um, I smell ice cream when I smell this. It smells like ice cream, like vanilla ice cream. And it glides on quite smoothly. Um, I think the only downside um, is when you apply it, it tends to be too fluid. I don't know. Um, but when it dries, when it dries, it dries fast. So that's that. And then the other shade is, of course, the famous Addis Ababa. And it's just a hot pink lip shade. I was actually supposed to get um, matte lipsticks um, in shocking pink, but when I saw it, um, I thought that it looked similar to my Etude House lipstick. I forgot the 
the number of the shade but I'll just post it um, below um, and I just thought that it looked kind of similar so I decided to get this soft matte lip cream instead and I think that when I pair this with my Etude House lipstick it will just look amazing so those are the products that I got um, again I got these from Perfection in Eastwood Mall uh, in their Eastwood Central Plaza um, I know that they don't um, put their NYX products there um, they are selling circle lenses and other stuff but you can probably just contact them and ask where they are located um, they have a lot of bazaars anyway so you can just go to one of their bazaars or just ask them where they are located so you can visit their booth so that's it for my little haul again um, I've been buying so much makeup but I'm very very happy with them so I will be posting more um, information about these in my blog and I will be reviewing them separately so please visit my blog it's yellowyum.blogspot.com and if you have any questions please feel free to ask me by follow me, following me on Twitter it's twitter.com slash missyellowyum and please don't forget to subscribe and comment and like below bye